Virtual breaks are a way to control break text for different automation systems through the same set of Music Master data. While you could have multiple databases, each designed to send the break text for one system, this would exponentially increase your work. With virtual breaks, you can maintain one music database and have the export to automation use the correct break text for each automation system. To do this is a three-step process. You'll need to create the break table. You'll need to adjust your export design to call for that break table. And you'll need to adjust your clocks to call for these new breaks. Let's start with making the break table. To open the Virtual Break Editor, select Start, Programs, Music Master. Then you'll see the Music Master Virtual Break Editor. When it opens, you will be on the V-Break Replacers tab. The information that you would previously have typed into the clock now goes into this table. Any break text and text that you used should continue to be used in the V-Break Editor. Here are two examples showing the syntax for a voice track. One for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio, and the other for Audio Vault. Notice both are V-Break number 4. This is important because we can now call for the voice track with this V-Break number in the clock and have it export the correct information for each system. You wouldn't want V-Break 4 to be a voice track in one table and a weather break in another. They should both reflect the same thing, just written specifically for each unique system. Note the V-Break number as you list your log notes to assist you when you edit the clocks. You might also consider adding in hourly breaks as well. These will occur at specific merge positions that you designate. In these examples, we are using the same assignment grid across the week and have indicated a couple of positions. You can see you have several options for determining when this hourly break will occur. With our work done and saved in the Virtual Break Editor, it's time to move on to the export design. Select Start, Programs, Music Master, and then the Music Master Export Designer. Pick your database, and then you'll see the available designs. Select the design, and then Edit. Go to File, Design Properties, and list the Virtual Break file you just made. Save and exit. We'll repeat this process for the export design for the other system. Now it's on to the Music Master data. In the clock, you'll use the format at vbreak equals x, where x is replaced by the vbreak number from the table. Here, you can see vbreak 4 is being used between the recurrent and current categories. Notice the vbreaks aren't necessarily in sequential order. That's fine. Just be sure to call for the right vbreak at the right point in your log. Now you can see why it's important to have all the same breaks in the same position of each vbreak file. For example, vbreak 4 is always a voice track. Let's take a quick look at the log. Notice those vbreaks still appear, while the hourly breaks do not. We're going to focus on vbreak 4 between flyleaf and puddle of mud. When you export a log, that vbreak will be replaced by the information from that corresponding number in the vbreak table, as well as anything in the hourly break table. Remember, our vbreak 4 was a voice track. We also had the top of the hour line in the hourly breaks tab. Here's how that looks in the exported file for wide orbit. The voice track is between flyleaf and puddle of mud, and the top of the hour indicator is here as well. In the Audio Vault export, the voice track is between those two artists again, but formatted properly for their system. The same is true of the top of the hour indicator. You now can see the benefit of using virtual breaks if you need to export to multiple systems. 
with virtual breaks, each export will get the specific set of break notes it needs, but all the exports will have the same music content.